She say, be patient with her, so I wait for it. In every way, she makes a rainy day seem perfect. The love of a lifetime, why we both deserve it. I'll pay for it. Yo, 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 welcome to our crib. We are at the Overwater Bungalows at Palafitos in El Dorado, Roma. So I want to give you a quick room tour and just some experience of what it's like to stay here in the Overwater Bungalow. And also I want to give you a few pro tips. All right, of course, as soon as you come in, you can't not help but notice the clear bottom floors where you can actually see fish, you can actually see just sea life, the coral, seaweed, all that stuff. So that's pretty excellent. And pro tip number one, I didn't know how big it is. It is actually pretty large. I know once you're watching this on YouTube or something, you think it's a small area, but no, this is a pretty long area. This is about six by six, okay? Or seven by seven. So it's pretty dope that you have this feature as soon as you come in, all right? They have uh, the dining room table. So this is where we ate a lot of our uh, room services. Uh, we had our drinks and all that stuff right here. So we don't get the bedroom and the uh, outside messy. So we ate about a lot of our dinners here. So yeah, two recliner chairs. Pro tip, if you're like me, big boy, always hot. The fan blows right here. So if I'm coming from outside or if I'm coming uh, from taking a hot shower or in the hot tub, I sit right here to cool off so I won't be sweating again as soon as I get out the tub. If you're a big boy, you know you got that problem. So I'm with you on that. All right, of course, you just have another area for resting, another area for seating if you want to. Super comfy. Uh, let's come over to the mini bar. Uh, just like in our last video, son and I, we don't do too much on the mini bars. We don't touch much. Uh, I think up here they got coffees, they got teas, they got aqua mineral. We, we haven't even popped in anything like that. Uh, pro tip at Palafitos, just to be honest guys, they don't really have a lot in a mini bar when it comes to snacks, all right? When it comes to snacks, they do not. Uh, you'll get pretzels, you'll get potato chips, um, then you, you get your Tecate, you got your light, you got the uh, Tecate original. Dos Equis, but once again, son and I are really not really huge drinkers, so we don't really partake in that too much. You got a Heineken, and then for your soda options, you get Orange Fanta, you get Coke, you get Diet Coke, and you get Sprite as well. And then at the bottom, if you want some juice, they have peach juice and apple juice. And then the only other snack or only treat you get, you get these little chocolate bites. Uh, so, once again, when it comes to snacks, now our, now they, they don't do a good job on that. I'm just being honest. I was a little disappointed in the snacks, especially M&M's. Normally when we go to these all-inclusives, the mini bar at least include M&M's or a different kind of bag of chips instead of one. So another pro tip, son and I, we went to the gift shop and we just got Chips Ahoy, we got M&M's, we got Snickers. And so the gift shop has different variety of chips and different variety of snacks if you wanna make sure that you have just some other things to munch on besides room service. Cause room service takes about 45 minutes to an hour at lunch. Now they're quick with room service at breakfast time, uh, but during lunch and dinner, nah, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour for it to get here. All right, so that's the mini bar. Uh, those are your options, coffee maker, uh, ice bucket. Whenever we need an ice, we just told them, hey, we need some ice and call room service and they brought it. Once again, if it's in the morning, it's pretty quick, but if it's in the evening at night, it still takes them a while to bring that bucket of ice. So, but that's our recommendation. I don't know what ice machine is that, sorry. Speaking of room service, we actually got room service live right now. Hola. What's <laughs> up? So back to the tour. So if you're one of those people who can't stop working and you gotta get your grind on, this actually is a very normal desk and it actually has a lot of storage here, okay? A lot of storage if you need to store anything for work or if you got buku clothes and you need more space for your clothes. Uh, I know I use the drawers as well, just to uh, keep our knickknacks in and random things in, I used it. Um, but if you wanna get your work on, if you wanna get your grind on, you can. All right, another pro tip is they actually have a Bluetooth speaker for you. I still bought my Bluetooth speaker because I didn't see this feature on any other uh, Palafitos videos I watched. 
but you do not need to bring a Bluetooth speaker. You can take this with you. You can put it in the uh, bathroom with you. You can take it outside on the patio. You can even take it on your deck. So they do have a Bluetooth speaker that's ready to rock and roll. So you don't have to pack one. You don't have to bring one. All right, another pro tip that I want to let you guys know is once you unpack and you know if your clothes got a little wrinkle, you can get your clothes wrinkle free by ordering this iron set, all right? And they have everything you need to iron just to make sure you get the wrinkles out of your clothes, your fit, so you can be super fly when you roll up in Palo Fiso's restaurant or any other restaurants on the, uh, on the resort. Also, lastly, once you check in, they're gonna ask what scent you want to help the room smell good. We went with this lemon scent, and man, it's off the chain, it's amazing. Uh, but you'll get the shoes out of three or four different scents um, that you want to use so you can have this incense so you can always be, felt, be smelling good and it helps you relax more. And then you have these that you can hang on the door. Of course, you have your do not disturb. And then also you have your housekeeping. So if you need housekeeping, you just hang it up on your door. If you're feeling like, hey, this is not the time. We're chilling right now. We're resting up right now. You can put your do not disturb. Huh? All right. And that should be it for the desk. All right. Next, let's take a look at our king size bed. What they do once you check in at Palafito is they actually ask you what type of pillows you prefer. Do you prefer a soft, hard? They have different categories, different names. Um, Son and I, we love the firm, so we got an extra set of firm pillows. We had our anniversary last night, so last night I put a picture on the video, but. bed decorated and have this love there for us which was pretty dope it was pretty pretty awesome back over here the bed is super comfy you see the decoration is dope they have this palafitos uh hieroglyphics or whatever it's called but it's pretty dope um i want to show you just how you can you can talk use this phone it's pretty dope it's pretty cool touch screen it's kind of like an android system but if you go to the gallery here's a pro tip you can see the menus once you go to the gallery all right, so it's not like an app or anything where you can go and check the menus, but it's in the gallery. So you can go there for the gallery. And then if you want to holler at room service, you can hit here. And if you want to call your butler, it's that one there. So that is how you use the phone. Also, I'll give you a little update on the TV. All right, TV is pretty dope. They have all your standard channels, you know, everything that you will watch at home. But since we've been here on vacation, we've just been watching Netflix the whole time. We don't get to watch Netflix as much when we're at home because we're working, we're being parents. So here we've just been catching up on all the Netflix shows we've been watching. But here's a pro tip. If you want to know what channels for your ESPN, um, your HBOs, your Lifetimes and all that, here's a list of all of the channels that they have. And it's pretty generic. It's the same thing that we have over in the States. But like I say, for us, we haven't really got our Netflix on as much. So we've just been doing a lot of Netflix and chilling since we've been here at the Overwater Bungalow. Next, I want to talk about just the outlet and your nightstand. So your nightstand is going to have your uh, USB plug. You're going to have two and then you're going to have your regular power outlet. All right, so you're going to have two USB and your regular power outlet. You have your nightlight and if you want extra storage to store anything, you have two shelves in the bottom. So that's pretty dope. Another pro tip that I want to talk to you about is your remote. Once we checked in the room, our butler did give us a tour, but she forgot to mention how to work the remote. So the AC was still pretty high. So our first night, we was like, man, what's going on? So we actually called the front desk the first night to be like, we don't think our AC was working. And of course, as soon as we called, we saw this and we figured out this is the remote on how to work the AC unit. And so don't make it too complicated. They have a diagram for you, uh, but just be mindful because this diagram is not this remote. So we were a little confused, but what we did, we just turned the, uh, turned the temperature all the way down and we were fine. Another pro tip, if you come back son. Another pro tip is how to control the fan. Uh, once again, we love our butler. She's been doing a fantastic job for us, but she forgot to tell us how to use the fan. And it's the middle light switch. So. Behind your phone, over here in your charging station, you have light switches. The middle light switch controls the fan. And if you don't want to, uh, if you want to change the fast, super fast, or slow, you can actually just get up on a bed and pull the string. That's what I did once I, I found out how to actually use the light switch. So, a couple pro tips right there. All right. 
Yeah, uh, if I did forget to mention, we have another clear floor that you can see the fish through. Last night, it was a ton of fishes out. A ton of fish is out so they come out mostly during the nighttime and when it's dark they actually have night lights underneath here so you can see everything that's going on but it was plenty of fish big fish small fish it was a crazy number of fish which was just super cool to see that last night um, so you got that one here and you have a few more which are going to show you in the bathroom so come on All right, first off top, you got to talk about the jacuzzi tub, okay? This is super huge. I know you I was in love with our jacuzzi tub at our vacation last year, but this one is even bigger. All right, this one's even bigger. This one is even nicer. And once again, our anniversary was last night. So our butler, while we was having our beachfront dinner, our butler actually came and got our uh, jacuzzi tub set for us so we can just relax when we got back, which was so, so dope. So, so dope. Oh yeah, this jacuzzi tub, it, it goes hard. Make sure you use it every night. Every night I have been in here, it's, it's definitely relaxing. It's definitely fulfilling. They have extra uh, bubble baths, so you want to pour the whole thing in. I just literally want to pour a whole thing in. And what we did from home, we bought some extra bath bombs uh, from Amazon that we brought home just to give it another kick, another relaxing tilt, man. So, yeah, I know jacuzzis are my favorite part of it. Like, hands down, I just love the jacuzzis. They do a great job with tiles, so we never ran out of tiles, but they keep the tiles there for us. So that's pretty dope, but uh, definitely use the jacuzzi. Pro tip, which I didn't know, on how to let the water out of the jacuzzi, it's a little flip tab down here, okay? It's a little flip tab down here, and you just have to push it down. All right, and once you have a lot of water in it, it gets hard, so you just gotta keep putting some pressure on it with your thumbs, uh, get creative, but that's how you let the water out. I didn't know that at first, so I was struggling trying to get the water out the first night. All right, uh, let's go here. We go here uh, to our sink area. Pretty cool. I mean, it got a little mom's faucet. It's pretty cool. The water gets warm. Uh, it's not too much here. This is this FYI this is not a pull out. This is only for you to hang your towels. Uh, as you see, sun got all the things nice laid out there. I just keep, of course I'm a man, so I just keep all mine in the bag under here. Um, but it's nothing there. They keep plenty of tiles here for you, face tiles you want to use. I did have to use some of this body wash, um, and this actually feels pretty good, and it smells pretty good. So I mean, definitely try that. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Um, they have a weight scale. Once again, weight scale is a sacrifice on a vacation. Son, even just with the workout, so shout out to Son. She wanted to go get a workout in. And I stayed in the room, uh, so shout out to her. But they have the waist scale, they have house slippers for you, and everything like that. Uh, it's also pretty cool that they have rugs. I know a lot of uh, hotels or resorts do not have rugs here, so when you get out the tub, you get out the shower, and come here, uh, you do have some rugs. Let's talk about the closet a little. When I was unpacking my stuff, I thought I was running out of space. So they give you three drawers, you have your safe, um, you have a few different racks, and I thought I was going to run out of space. But not much, all right? Because it is another part of, <laughs> of the closet that we didn't even use. So you got plenty of space, closet space, if you want to throw your things in, if you want to unpack. We were only here for four or five days, so we didn't have a ton. But like I said, once I was putting my stuff, I think I did swimming trunk, shirts, uh, socks, white beaters, and that one. Uh, I thought, man, I'm running out of space. So I looked and I saw that space right there. A whole part of the closet we haven't used, so we got plenty of space. And also another pro tip about space. If you need more storage, you can just move the seat and there you go. More storage space for you to put things in. So they have plenty of space. It should be good. Um, unless you stand for like two weeks or something like that. If you stand for two weeks, then I understand. But other than that, just a regular trip, you should be good for storage space. All right, show you the water closet. Nothing special here, except you do get another clear glass floor. You can see while you're doing your business. You can look at the fishes and find Nemo while you're doing your business there, but it's nothing special. Just, once again, it's weird that they have phones in the bathroom. Man, son was talking about it last night. We have no idea. It's not like that in the States, but I don't know if they got sued and our all was supposed to have to have it, but if you know why they have to have phones in your water closet, please drop a comment below. I'm very interested to understand that. All right, and here's the shower. Shower is pretty, pretty spacious. 
when I was looking at all the videos online, I was like, man, big dude, big guy. I don't know if I have enough elbow room, but no, it's plenty. It's plenty of space here for the shower. You got your main shower head here, and of course you got your overhead shower, and you have your controls right here in the corner. Uh, if you want to, you can store uh, your, your shampoo, your body wash, your soap, all that good stuff. You have a window, I'm not touching that window, but you can let the shade down. And then once again, you have another clear bottom floor where you can see the fish, where you can see everything that's going on right here. I'll show it to you. All right, so on each side of the water closet and in the shower, you can see the clear bottom floor. All right, cool. Now coming outside, we just left the shower and now we're outside. So outside, they have an outdoor shower. Uh, we haven't used it much because, man, son, we don't like to sweat. If we notice we're about to sweat, we're coming right back in, you feel me? Uh, but you have that if you're interested, and they have a light for you if you want to do it at nighttime. Coming outside. Now you have your affinity pool, which is warm, okay? I didn't know if it was cold, cool, or warm. But, of course, you're right here in the sun, so the pool is going to be warm, but it feels great. And when the water goes over top of the pool, just go right down here to the little reservoir. But it's pretty dope. It's pretty cool. We like it. Uh, next, you have your outdoor furniture, which is pretty cool. I lay back and chill here for a minute. Like, this is what I do. Like, this is really cool. So you got this view. And you can move your furniture. Originally, they had it right here. They had it close. And all you got to do is just move it so you can get the best view. Then you have outside dining. So you get two chairs. Son and I ate breakfast here this morning. This place is all out. Room service, they brought it straight out to us. So if you want to show them, room service can come and bring it outside without even having to come to the door. All right, and so we had out here. It was pretty dope, pretty cool. And so and last but not least, let me take you down to the deck. Just be careful on your stairs. Don't try to run a race on them. But it's going to take you down over here to your own deck where you have two recliners where you can just relax and chill it has a, a table here where you can put your tablets your phone your book or something on while you're enjoying this amazing view and yes right now they do have construction going on but it doesn't it doesn't bother me it shouldn't bother you the, the noise is minimum if i'm not sure if you can look further out they have the maroma adventures where they're doing excursions like jet skiing, canoeing, uh, speedboat. We're gonna actually do one tomorrow. We're gonna do the jet skis tomorrow. And if you come on down this way, this is the steps to the water. I haven't got in yet. I'm gonna get in tomorrow. I'm gonna do it before we get out of here tomorrow. Tomorrow is our last day, so I'm gonna do a lot of things that I haven't done yet. If you can, you can see those hammocks over there. I'm gonna go lay in the hammocks and everything tomorrow just to make sure I touch every part of the resort that I had dreamed about before we got here. Heading back up. All right, and then this is how we get in from the inside, and we're right back to where we started. All right, signing out. This is your boy at El Dorado Maroma, Overwater Palafitos, Overwater Bungalows. Uh, Till next time, we out. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. She say, be patient with her, so I wait for it. In every way, she makes a rainy day seem perfect. The love of a lifetime, why we both deserve it.